Information from the World Health Organization suggests that some 85% of the new COVID-19 cases are coming from Europe and the United States, Italy being hit the hardest with over 6,077 deaths and 63,927 uh, cases. Although hope is not lost for Italy because doctors have observed a decline in deaths and cases for two days in a row as of March 24, 2020. Uh, the New York State COVID-19 case record is now up to 25,665 as of Tuesday, March 24th. As cases gradually grow, more beds are needed, at least up to 140,000 beds, according to Governor Cuomo. A hotel has just recently given up their rooms to help with the overwhelming outbreak. Cuomo continues to talk to uh, the federal agencies, including FEMA, in the hopes of trying to get more ventilators and more beds. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today we'll have a few snow or rain showers, but most of the day looks to be dry with highs of 45 to 50. Tomorrow we'll have increasing clouds with a few more rain showers developing in the afternoon and highs well into the 50s. Friday should be slightly cooler with a few morning rain or snow showers and highs near 50. Saturday looks nice for the majority of the day with some clouds and rain towards the evening but sun most of the day and highs in the mid 50s. Sunday should be even warmer with some breeze and highs near 60. Monday and Tuesday are going to get colder again with some possible rain or snow showers and highs in the mid 40s. I'm Allie with your weather. The 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo have been postponed to next year. On March 20th, former Patriots quarterback Tom Brady signed a two-year contract with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm Luke with Sports.